Hi, in this video I'd like you to show you how to show and hide columns inside of Microsoft Excel. Here we have a workbook that has three months worth of data inside of it and then some summary statistics. And let's say we want to create a report that hides the detail but still shows this information. There's a couple ways to go about that. One is you can simply highlight columns B, C, and D here, the columns we wish to hide, and then right click up at the top and select hide. When you do that, you'll see that your Excel workbook now skips from column A to column E. To re-show those items, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to highlight the column on both the left and the right side of the hidden columns, which in this case is A and E. So I'm going to point at the letter A here and highlight over to E. I can then right click in this top area and select unhide and you'll see that the items are now shown. So that's a simple way to hide and unhide columns inside of Microsoft Excel. If you're looking for a little bit easier way, it may um, work to use the grouping and ungrouping tools. To use those tools, I'm going to come here to the Data tab up here at the top. And specifically what I'm looking at is over here under the Outline section, Group and Ungroup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight B, C, and D here. Notice I didn't highlight the cells. I highlighted from the columns because I'm working with the entire column. The same as what I was showing in Hiding Data. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the Group button here you're going to notice that a grouping and outlining bar has appeared up here at the top. I can now go ahead and click this minus sign and hide all that information. I can click the plus sign and it shows. So this is a second option for hiding and showing data inside of Microsoft Excel. We just did that with uh, columns, but you could also just as easily do it with rows. For example, I could highlight rows 4 through 8 here, and then again I'm right clicking in my header area, and I could select hide, and that would hide those rows. If I want to show those rows, I would highlight again the rows on the top and the bottom, which in this case is 3 and 9, and then right click and show unhide. And you'll see that the data is back. If I wanted to do the, hide this with the grouping tool, again I would highlight my items and then select group. And you'll see now a grouping and outlining bar has appeared to the left of your data. And I can click that minus sign and everything's hidden or the plus sign to show data. So two ways to show and hide columns. One using the actual show and hide commands and the other using the group and ungroup options on the data menu. When you want to remove those items, you just simply highlight the columns again and click on ungroup here. And you'll see that that disappears. Same thing with my rows. I highlighted them and then click on ungroup. And it takes that off and my list is back to normal.